Not yet. Very good. Mm. Welcome. Good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, yes. I had to wait for a second there because the the bells outside. Oops, this this my laptop. The bells outside were ringing and they were very very loud because I live across from a church like the good um, Christian, <laughs> the good Christian boy that I am. So um, so yes, welcome to the first ever uh, triple Xmas. I don't know how you even say that XXXmas, extra large Xmas, Christmas, whatever. Um, and uh, most of you heard uh, what I said in the little video that I put, put out uh, two days ago, I think. I am not going anywhere this Christmas simply because all my friends are somewhere else. Um, my parents are somewhere else. And uh, they said I should not visit them. Um, my brother is somewhere else. And like, it's a four day non activity here in Germany. Um, if you're not German, you might not understand this, but Germany has quite strict laws about opening, um, opening uh, uh, restaurants, bars, shops. So for, from now on, basically till next Monday morning, nothing except maybe the odd uh, gas station or something will be open. So my idea was to just uh, do something in that time and uh, fill it with anything that is not Netflix because uh, I, I, I'm pretty certain that most of us have all watched everything on Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. And um, yes, therefore, uh, we are doing a lot of stuff. And I will start this. Ah, now I see the chat here. Very good. Hello, Laura. Welcome. Welcome. We, we're going to see Laura do some folding origami tomorrow, I think. Josh sitting in his chair of doom. Marcus, what's up? Nice to see you. Uh, Martin, Martin, how do you, how do you, I don't know how to uh, pronounce that properly. Uh, Christmas greetings from, from me too. Alex, what's up? Good morning means you either just got up or you are in the US. And uh, Scott in Canada, Niagara Falls. I've been there before. Um, <laughs> I was not super impressed with the, <laughs> with the falls themselves, but that's okay. I'm never impressed with anything. Uh, sightseeing wise, but it was a I like I liked Canada a lot. So I was spent some time in Toronto, um, and I liked it there a lot. Anyway, let's get to the business. Unlike, unlike uh, the um, the typical Twitch person, I, I watched some of it over the flat, last few months. I'm totally going to respond to the chat, but I'm not going to like. I don't know what they do. They just acknowledge everyone who comes in, which totally fucks up. In this case, it would totally fuck up my my work. Um, I do enjoy uh, talking and chatting with people during these streams, but I'm not going to be like saying hi to everyone who just comes in uh, simply because it, it'll just completely break up all, any flow that there'll be. So uh, please don't be mad at me if uh, I don't see you or something in the chat. Um, the chat will have replay, so whenever you rewatch re this at a different at a different date, you can just see what's going on in the chat. And there is Jörg, also Straftanz, and also Xantbark, Xantelworth, Xantelworth. Yeah, I like that. Um, it is my job in my life to find new nicknames for Xanti, as many as I can. And there's uh, obviously Barbs, very good. Um, so let's. Let's just start. And if you have any questions, just type them up in the chat. I will probably answer most of them that are questions about what I'm doing there. If you are on my Patreon where I do this every month and you um, you see this today, I will be much slower probably than usual because um, I will be explaining more for the people that have not seen it yet. So like on Patreon, a lot of people have been there for years and they know exactly what a sidechain is and all that stuff. So um, usually on Patreon, I move very fast. So here I will try to be a little more expla explainative. I don't know what that word, if there's a word like that. Explanationary? No, I don't know. Anyway, enough of this crap. Let's uh, let's get to it. I will see your chat. So uh, 
um do do ask away whenever you feel like it and i hope uh, you enjoy this and i hope you enjoy the whole program uh that we have for you for the next four days all right let's go let's get to it let's do the right thing let's set this advanced scene switcher to on that's the way it goes let's start it on start oh no it starts put the desktop on the front cam and let's go all right uh, <laughs> uh it's traditional yes oh well i'm uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna explain it later um i'll for for now i'll have a little monster all right let's uh let's create some order here patricia hello oh yeah the first thing the first thing i don't know um, I've been thinking about this, obviously, for a while. Usually on Patreon, I don't think much. I just sit down and do, and then maybe uh, maybe we uh, decide in the chat or something. We can still do that today. But um, I've been kind of thinking about the, the idea to do something that is, today, do something that is very typical of Faderhead. Um, first of all, because that's what most people know and like. Second of all, because I do the uh, less typical stuff usually on Patreon, which uh, is, how do you say, which is where I purposely try not to do what I usually do. So let's, uh, let's stay a little, more, um, a little more on point today. And uh, there's 25 people there right now. Can you give me a BPM? Just give me any tempo that you think would be nice. Um, just type it in the in the um, in the chat box, and I can read. Explanatory? Hmm, maybe. There's so many people I've never heard of. Frederick, good good morning. Doc Vamp seventy five. Okay, Marcus Kudikstein, one hundred forty is a terrible BPM. One twenty seven, one oh three. Modulite, what do you mean you came here from Cyberpunk? What does that mean? Uh, from because you got the EP or because you, I don't know, found this somewhere else? Please explain. I'm very curious. Okay. So the BPM was 140, which is not going to happen. Marcus, we just had an attempt of me making a 140 BPM song in um, on Patreon, on the stream. And I failed miserably. I think I, I had like five attempts and then I just decided to go down to, I don't know, 100 BPM because it just didn't work. Um, all right, let me, let me start this by choosing 125, which is the tempo that's set here. But I got a lot of like 128, 127, 140, 103. We'll see, we'll see what we can do with this. Um, and an idea that I had was to to start it um, to start it with a little more of a like I don't know like a wave kind of vibe, and and then build it into something that's really dance floory and electronic. Um, I can't remember what what is the name of the last song on Asteria. What is the name of that song? Ah, oh, Jesus! I gotta, I gotta Google this real quick. I don't know my own records. I'm very sorry. Where, where could I find it? On Bandcamp, probably. Let's see. What is the name of the song? Where's the album? There we go. Uh, Dancing all alone. Okay, that's the name of the song. And if I recall correctly, um, this song has has uh like a clean guitar like a the cure type guitar in there and um i want to i want to try putting that in there just just uh because come on okay first thing we do is we save this under uh, stream all right whoa lots of people industrial monk hello Oh, discovered tons of for you later. Yeah, very good. I like it. That means the album, the people like the album. I like that. Okay, we got 125. 
All right, that's the first test. Do you hear music now? You should hear music because this thing is working. So if uh, I did everything right, you should hear a simple, a simple beat there. Well, I yap over it. Uh, please just uh, leave a little, um, little comment on the chat if you heard music and now it stopped. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much, Pyromano or Pyromane. I don't know. If you're a British or American, then it's Pyromane. And if you're German, it's Pyromano, obviously. So what I want to do is I really quickly need to load my favorite, my favorite fake guitar. I do have a guitar here that I also can play, but, uh, oops, but I don't want to. And I, I don't have a functioning electric guitar. Ooh, this one fell over. I have four guitars, electric guitars that are not in good enough, good enough uh, shape to be played. Like they need to be reset, the strings need to be changed. So I'm just gonna use a synth that sounds exactly like a guitar and um, we'll do that. Yes, Madeline, it's Cubase. It's Cubase 10 uh, something, 10 something. Um, I'm gonna update to 11 very, very soon, but I didn't wanna do it during during the EP production. And um, because, you know, the thing came out like a week before my EP was finished um, mixing. And it's the worst idea to, to update your shit once, uh, once you are in the middle of a production because then it will never work probably now that i have nothing else to do it'll just update fine all right um let's start with what the fuck was the name of the chorus is roland something oh, i don't remember i don't remember guitars it's somewhere in here that stretch jc that's good all right all right all right all right all right all right all right, all right. That's what I, I want to do is I would just want to find a very simple, very, I don't know, wave, like goth wave type melody. And um, then kind of start out working that into something else. And I really don't know where this is going. The, uh, the only thing I've thought about um, yesterday or maybe this morning, I don't know, was that I wanted to do it in that kind of style. And just like uh, the 140 BPM experiment um, the other week, this might completely fail. We never know. Let's see. All right. What key are we in here? We're in G. G is always good. Oh yes, Huawei. Huawei. I, uh, yeah, I really found this incredibly hard to pronounce. Huawei. It's uh, it's not easy. It's really not easy. If you don't know what uh, Jörg, who is Straftanz there, if uh, if you don't know what he's saying, uh, Jörg, can you please <laughs> link that in the in the chat? Because it's very important to not say wave ever again, but to say Huawei, so we can absolutely uh, spread this good goodness in the world. <laughs> Let's, let's do it like that. Very simple. Ah, uh, maybe we should go D, because I can sing way better in D. Something sounds off here. These should, should be longer. Yep, that's not bad at all. I'm not sure it'll work in the end. Sometimes I will change this at the very, very end. I chose this sound because it's a purposely detuned. It's like, it's like one of these old, the Cure type guitars. And I really think that it fits with this.
All right. For those for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, okay, let me explain. Uh, let me explain this whole thing. Okay. Yes, I forgot. I I went back to my usual mode of where I do this usually for people who know what's going on. Okay. Let me explain this whole window real quick. You don't have to worry about the very left side for now. Like the very left side here, you don't need to know anything about this. This here is what's called arrangement window. This is the big version of it. And what you see on this side here, well, maybe let me let me let me make this all highlighted here. On this side is all the different sounds that I have in my in my project. So for instance, this here, when I click on it, that's this is one sound which is a kick drum and sounds like this on, on its own. Maybe this one is a snare and it sounds like this on its own. And maybe, I don't know, this one is like a bass sound that sounds like this on its own. And this is a template. Whenever I start working, I load this template and all these sounds are preloaded. Simply the reason for this is so that I can work really quickly. And if I have an idea, just get them out because if you if you need to load all this and make decisions on if you want this snare sorry or this snare then you'll be sitting here forever so the idea is to have a, a general template that has basic sounds and later you can change them but to get the ideas out as quickly as possible that's why it's there all right so Below this window with all the tracks, there's the same thing as a mixing board, basically. If I make this really big, then these faders make everything louder and don't worry about anything up here. Don't worry about it. This just uh, takes the drums and whatever I just had, the guitar, and makes it louder or less loud. And yes, I do know what all these buttons mean, but they're all the same. It, it's, not, it's not that hard. Um, and what I just did what I just did was I chose, let me, let me label this. Let's label this guitar and let's label it Robert Smith. Cause this might be something that Robert Smith is playing. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm basically telling this synth that's playing the guitar, what to play. So for, for, for this note, I'm telling him for four beats in the first bar, play the note D. And then after like three sixteenth notes, play a higher E and then go down to D and all that. And um, the longer the note is drawn here, the longer it, it sounds. So just so you generally know what I'm doing, this is the explanation. The right window over here, which is over my video window, that's my, uh, my sample libraries, which are endless. I have so many and I haven't used half of them. Like I use a few sounds from each, but uh, I could probably just, uh, um, you know, use five of them and be good. So don't worry about what's going on on the right. The, the most important thing is in the middle. So let's play this stuff and see what we want to do with it. I'm not sure the ending is good. Nice, I like this. Let's let's break this. Very good. Scott, uh, can you can you email me the link to the set? I'm a huge Robert Smith fan. Um, Robert Smith is so amazing vocal wise that he can sing on anything and it'll be great. Um, I was sitting at my friend Eric's house the other day, like last weekend, and um, I I said uh, I think for the first time. Um, that if I had the choice of working with anyone, it, it'd be Robert Smith because um, uh, 
the voice is so unique that anything you can you can do um, with him would be awesome. Scott, if you could email it just to contact at faderhead.com because then I will find it because if you post it in here, I will never find it again uh, when I want to actually watch it. All right. So right now what I'm uh, thinking, if you listen to this, this snare sound, and this is the, the old uh, Faderhead versus Daniel Meyer uh, snare war. This snare is way too loud. This is a massive snare. It's called EBM snare because it's a massive snare. Thank you, Scott, very much. Thank you. And the intro is very like nice, but the snare is too loud, so we can make it smaller. Or maybe something else. This doesn't work. So if, if you're if you're watching this closely, I originally told the snare synth, like the, the sampler, I told it play the snare on this sound. But then I just change it down and the sound change because I have uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten um, uh, snares in there that are preset simply so I have a lot of options and don't have to fuck around too long. Let's see what. This is actually ki kind of nice. I like this. <laughs> um, Jörg is saying the snare war is over. I did agree on that, and it's true. But uh, to explain this, Daniel Meyer of How Job Covenant, all these bands, you know him, uh, and I, we, ne we usually don't agree on what a certain snare should be sounding like. And uh, we jokingly called it the snare war. And the other day we actually agreed on a snare. So we, pr I pronounced the snare wars to be over. But you know, you can't talk about snares without talking about Daniel. Oh, uh, so many people there. Vilma, it sounds very housey. That might be the drums. Like that might be the, the clap. <laughs> Because it's the clap. I'm not sure I like it actually. Let's see. Let's let's go for bottom. That's too big. Too big. Let me try this. Let me Vilma is obviously right. It's too big of a either it's a very housey snare. That is not the right verb. Let's try this one. Not the right one. This is usually stuff I don't do in the beginning. Bring this snare down. Much better. Okay, obviously this doesn't stand on its own without a little bass. Oh, um, what is the what is the? Yes, let's go. For it. This one goes here. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use the, the bass line that is played by the guitar, because that's all I need for now. Or, oh, we'll see. We'll see later. We shall see later. <sighs> Sounds totally like you imagine. What does that mean? What do you imagine? I think 
it's time to bring this up. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Let's see what happens, Larry. can never stop saying this. I've been saying this for 20,000 years. See what happens, Larry. That's what happens, Larry. This is a good way to start this. You can put a vocal over. I don't know. If we were type of negative. Whoa, stone dry so we are. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Let's go with this, and um, actually kick on there. Uh, Mato light. I have no fucking Mato light. Mato light. I don't know. I have uh, no idea. Let's say three hours. The shortest. That was probably Dirty Girls, Dirty Boys, and the longest. Pff, who knows? Five years. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, Yes, what am I doing here? Oh, yes, I want to give this some punch and actual power here. I hope my vocal performance was through the roof. I used to sing in a typo negative cover band. I was very good. I was only like two heads shorter than Deep Peter. All right. All right, this bass obviously has to has to start going eighth notes. All right. I wish Patrick was here and he would probably tell me that there's a trick in which you can split up like a full note into, what am I doing here? Into uh, whatever, 16th notes or something. There's probably, there is probably one. I'm, I didn't say I was in typo negative. I was in a cover band briefly. But I, I, I spent a lot of time on stage with, uh, with the typo negative, not on like uh, as a member, but because I was hanging out with uh, the support band, which was Manhole, uh, like a Marilyn Manson meets something meets corn with female vocals. And um, that was in 2007, I think, when they were on tour. With, with Moonspell, it wasn't 2007, it was 1997, I'm sorry. 98, maybe 98, I don't remember, it's a long time ago. Um, uh, there's a lot lot of stories from that. That's when, when I, I met Marilyn Manson because uh, the singer of Manhole knew him. And when they were playing with, uh, with uh, uh, well, actually the band was called Tura Satana at that that name at that time when they were playing in Düsseldorf with typo negative and Moonspell um, Manson was playing in Cologne which is only about I don't know 50 50 miles 50 kilometers away and uh, she wanted to buy a metal hammer magazine a German one where there was an interview in it. and then she decided that maybe we just go see um, Manson after the show and then we did which was fun and he was very very nice like not evil at all so let's go If you've never watched a recording stream, it has a lot of repetition. I have to listen to it over and over again. <laughs> the Wave. We have, we have to get uh, Dewey on it to find the, the legend of Faderhead inventing Wave in 1953, before everyone else. Okay, when we, the, I'm gonna do the, the thing that I always do, which is I color code everything. This will make it also, it's, it's for me, but it, this will make it easier for you 
to see what part of the song we are in. So this part is the intro. This part is the not intro. This is whatever we call it. It's the same thing, just with more power. And um, since it currently doesn't have a lot of power, I will add some and hopefully it'll work. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Yes, get rid of all this. Um, if you're getting confused by now what I'm doing, I'm just taking the notes that I already made for the guitar and I copy them to other sounds, to other, basically to other instruments. And um, sometimes I delete things. I just deleted a lot of stuff that the guitar was playing because I don't think I will need it here. All right. Uh, do you wish to download it now? No, that would be not necessary. Let's go. I'm looking for this. That's the one I want. Again, I'm going kind of standard for myself here. So I'm not trying something incredibly new today. Well, if you can go banana all he wants. I'm a good enough guitar player to know that I don't want to play guitar ever again on a record. <laughs> it's too much effort and uh, doesn't work uh, for the, like the, the effort that you need to make to make it sound okay. It's easier for my style of music to do it like that. All right, what do I call this? I call it lead disc bass. Let's be all right. It's too low. Then again, he also gets angry at everything, so that's okay. Something's wrong. Right, yes, Jörg is correct. I was gonna do this, but uh, I would probably have forgotten to uh, announce it. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a side chain on this. So, and this is, this is where I have to explain. I'm, I'm going to make it big. Um, this is a plugin called LFO tool and it doesn't matter what it is. It's called, it, it does something called the side chain. And uh, when the side chain happens, you have to take a shot. And the people who saw my last stream uh, saw me complain about my shot glasses and Esther went and got me engraved shot glasses. It's amazing. Like I now have six shot glasses with different Faderhead logos on them. It's a, uh, it's a uh, perfect. So the thing you do now, even if you don't have engra engraved shot glasses, even if you have shitty shot glasses like, like I had, whenever, whenever you see this huge thing. Well, it's not going to be that huge, but whenever you see the LFO tool on stage, you have to drink. Revisualize. Joseph, is that you? In Seattle? Revisualize. That must be Joseph. Hello. Nice to, nice to meet you. Um, uh, Joseph and I, we were on DeviantArt, which is a very big website, like art website. We were there in, I think, 2001, when some guy named Matteo was one of the founders. And um, a bunch of art groups came out of them. One was called Ruster. That's where I was in. I don't remember if, if you were in one or in which you were. And then there was one called Deathcore and one another one. I don't know. Long time. He he did the first. You did the first uh, few Faderhead websites, I think. The 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 coding. I, I don't actually remember. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for joining. But when you see this thing, you sh shot yourself. Like with something. And somebody said he, it's early. Oh, that was you. 6.33, just uh, pretend. Mm. Ah, very nice. All right. All right, all right. Let's make this smaller. Okay. And uh, so you guys kind of understand what this does. Listen to this without a side chain. It's a straight note. If I turn it on, it, it gives you this ducking effect.
And this is basically dependent on how big I make this. All right, let's do it again. If I make it small, you, you barely hear it. If I make it really big, you hear it a lot. So now what I'm listening for when I'm re-listening like this, I'm just listening for how the, the, the how do you call it, how the transition is. This is too heavy. This doesn't work right now. What this does, the only reason why I added this, the thing that we put the side chain on, the only reason is to make the orange part stick out more from the red. This needs to have more energy. So I'm adding something that brings energy, but it should not be, um, should not be too far in the front so i'll i'll bring that into the back jesus the christians across the street are banging on their things uh, let me play this don't know if you guys can even hear the uh what do you call it the bells right brian graupner hello brian brian What's up in wherever you are? Boston? Are you in Boston? I don't remember. Church bells, yes. Do you guys hear the church? I don't know. I got used to them because I usually know when they ring, which is like, I don't know, once a week. But uh, I don't know. Today's Christmas, so they ring. Let's, I, I gotta, I just gotta wait. I just, I just gotta wait. Cause they're, for me, they're kind of loud. And, um, I, if I, if I turn this, well, I, I can just, well, let me see. Right. All right. This needs, this needs some. This needs some raw. Just some straight drum thingy. Brian Grump Grumper 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 Right, let's go for a uh, let's go for a uh, So, what am I doing here? Okay, first things first. Obviously, okay, I have to make some decisions here. One of the decisions will impact everything later because my original idea that I had yesterday or whenever was to start it out like this and then make it much, much heavier in like a second part. So, I wrote about this in, 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 a, in a newsletter recently that structure is everything and there's only two structures. So right now I kind of have to figure out if I want like a, a dance floor structure or if I want a pop structure. And I think I'm going to do a pop song with a much longer B ending. When you sing in that room, how do you suppress it? Um, the mic really is very, very directional. Um, and very low gain and usually 
there's really not that much noise outside. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's once a week when they ring their bell and on a Sunday morning or something. Um, but yeah. <sighs> okay. So what we're doing now is we are making. Good. I'm just trying to figure out what I want in the in the verse. good uh obviously it's not enough jesus what's with the church guys they're still ringing i don't know if you hear it if if you see me like very i don't know annoyed or not making as much sense as i did a little earlier it's because they're so banging on the on the church bells for minutes now that it, it totally kills my focus because I can only focus on one thing at a time. I can't read, I can't work or do anything with um, with any any other noise. So I can't I can't listen to music and do any other work. So church bells when I try to make music is a problematic. I know what I want to do. And if you're wondering, how do I know what I'm doing here? It's because I think of it in my head. Like, I'm just thinking, I want this to be dun, 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 or dun, 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 and then I just r write it. It's like the, the equivalent of writing down on, on like sheet music paper. And I'm not always right. Oops, like this. I'm doing going to do half of those. remove those guys over here Jesus still churching oh they stopped they, they're, they're stopping I hear them fading out I will soon be a happy person again oh, no more church fuck them Last note is incorrect. The last note is too high. All right, from the top, I'm going to grab another monster. And then we see, oh no, we can't do it like that. I need to, um, I need to actually put the bass correctly this goes on like
So this is the, the good part about electronic music. You don't have to play anything. You just figure out what you want and then you can copy it. This uh, very, very helpful. Okay, let's listen from the top while I'm gonna grab another drank. Drank of thank. Let's go, let's see. The vocals would be over this. No idea what yet, but we will see. Cheers, everyone. And just because Jörg is going to be super sad, I'm just going to try a side chain on the guitar. Like, I was going to say he's sad if I don't keep him liquored up. So here's your side chain, guys. Bring out your drink. In my new shot glasses. Thank you, Esther. Cheers. Yeah, but it doesn't work, so I'm not going to use it. It's just, it was just for you. <laughs> Let's delete it again so I can maybe put it on later. I can't follow the... the questions anymore like the, the chat downside to electronic music uh, I don't know um, let me focus on this for a while right because if if I if I would read the chat all the time I'll never get done with anything here let's go let's be like Tom Brady let's go um there we go. Tom Brady has a way. If you don't know who he is, I don't know where you've been living. Um, he's the best quarterback of all time, American football. And he has a completely normal voice. But on, um, on, uh, on the field, when he's yelling, he kind of goes higher. And in the huddle, he's always like, let's go, baby. Something like that. Not that high, but kind of like that. So... Let's go, is my Tom Brady impression when I feel like I need to focus and get some shit done. Uh, Vilma. Uh, it will be darker and it will be more auf die Fresse. Uh, don't worry about that. That's what I said with like the, the second half of the song is totally going to be um, more powerful, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it won't. <laughs> <laughs> the thing right now is that making a dance floor track is has become so easy that sometimes if you if you watched um, the isolation rave, maybe two hours before the end, someone said something and I made a song about that and they still played it on the same evening. Um, so I was I was gonna go for something here that that is gonna sound like Faderhead but not gonna be super 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 obvious, like. If I was going to do like a Tanz 2, 3, 4 ripoff, we'd be done in a half an hour, I think. And I'm serious about this. I have so, so many, so many Tanz 2, 3, 4 riffs that are just not the same, but the same. Uh, right. Okay. When we come out of this, we need to have a little bit of something. Let's listen. This 
needs to pick up a little at this point, which is usually for me, it's always the same if you uh, are used to my streams. Light blue is first part of the verse. Um, darker blue is second part, um, which is sometimes not even existent, depending on how long the thing is. What am I going to do here? But maybe it's, I have an idea. Let's get this to sound a little more electronic. Um, because the thing is, in the end, I want it to be, to be more um, like clubby. So I should probably announce it at some point. Why not? Why not that? Yeah, let's try that. This is going to be an experiment. I don't know if it works. Maybe it's like the 140 BPM songs. Let me repeat that and see if that actually works over the rest. It could be too too housey, like too much like sono. I'm not sure I want that. I, I, I would like this kind of stuff, but maybe not for this song. Well, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. I don't like the super super delayed one here which would be cool if I was trying to be hipsterish, houseish, but I'm not trying to be that. I'm trying to be straight, straight on. My name is Faderface. What was the lyric there? It was just my name is Faderface? I don't remember. what this does is it starts to go away from the from the electronic uh sorry from the electronic from the from the wave from the uh, robert smith wave thing and um uh, that's the point because i want to end up at something very electronic and dancey and i don't know if this will work at all and this is this is the point of these things is to figure out if it works. And uh, very often it doesn't, like uh, this, this might be a total failure. And then I go back and try something else. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw this into like a techno hall. See what it sounds like. I think I'm going to take another shot just for, for the fun of it, but because you are you, let me adjust, let me adjust the bass. Oh, there's no side chain on the bass. Everybody. Cheers. Okay. 
this microphone is in the way of where I usually put my drink. But okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have. Laura, you should totally, you should totally bust out of the booth. It's, it's Christmas. Come on, you got nothing to do. Let me, let me call this Pluck Sono. I'll put that up here. Put Robert Smith up in there. So it's all orderly. Robert Smith, my man, Robert. All right. Um, This is not enough. I think it needs a, oh. I'm gonna do. I have ideas that will probably not work right now. I want to go kind of into a into a massive drop here, but I'm not sure it will work. We'll see. We'll see. Um, what did I want? Hmm. Let's go from the start. Maybe I can remember then. K, yes. Vocals come over this. Not sure which ones. Mm. Right now, this is a little. Hmm. Okay, what if, what if we just raise this? Because right now I don't know where to go from there. I could just drop into a chorus, but mm, doesn't work yet. Let's see. Why is all this shit still here? Let's go away with this. Let's. Oh, maybe maybe we do. It's like that. Let's try, let's try the prototypical fader bass, which is nothing but a <laughs> damn uh, virus. Which one was that? That was the boogie man. <laughs> No reverb. There we go. Nope, that wasn't it. Yep, that's too too slow. Nope. Nope. What's happening here? Something's wrong. Why is there always one at the end that's longer? Interesting. Interesting. This is really weird. Hmm. Let's do it again. What is this thing doing here? This is correct. Good. D2. Very good. Sometimes you just hit the wrong button. And...
not happy about the the sono thing that goes down away let's go I'm, I'm i'm removing the sono thing just by sound it's i don't know it's not the the thing i want let's see what else we have here it's that better. John, John Paul Sherman. Um, the thing is, this is actually how music is made, but it's also very rare um, that it's this fast because I've been doing it for 30 years. So the stuff that I'm doing here right now is a very quick thing just because I've done it thousands of times. Most people take a lot longer um, and experiment more and do different things and they need to figure out what goes where. Uh, I've just done it so many times that it's, it's become second nature and stuff that's just experiments sounds pretty good even though it's not going to be great all the time. Obviously, there's a lot of shit happens. Yummy, what's up? How's Christmas? be good to have like a quick phone line to Robert Smith so he could just lay down some vocals on his phone. Let's just pretend I want to try now what I want to try. I, I think it'll totally not work, but uh, we, we will see. We'll see. Because what I want to do is I want to raise this up and then go into like a very, very heavy thing here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, but probably just rise the shit up. Yeah, how about... A long fill here. Long fill. Maybe a little bit. There we are. <laughs> On it. Long fills. All right. That has the right sound. Let's drop it in there. Long fill. Let's start where it goes. So just send it to the drums. So let's go.
All right, this virus base is not working out for me here because what's missing is obviously this motherfucker. Okay, guys, time for sidechain action. Sidechain action. Satisfaction. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Ah, oh, that was a lot. Of, that was a lot. Shit. I should have prepared maybe some before that were not as full. So everybody grab your whiskey or your whatever you have. And uh, uh, how do you say? Worship the, the holy sidechain. Ah. You've been drinking the entire time. Well, <laughs> you don't have to make something <laughs> today <laughs> that people will actually listen to. Yes, I mean, you also have to take them. Do Coca-Cola shots, it doesn't matter. John Paul, you can you can re-watch this later. Oh, for everyone, if you have to run or whatever, um, you, this is going to stay on YouTube and you can re-watch it from either from the beginning or from uh, where you left off. So don't work too hard um, or wherever you have to go. And uh, just... Uh, Come back and watch it later if you enjoyed it so far. We'll see what happens here. <sighs> okay, let, let's just let's just do what I wanted to do, uh, which is obviously go into a massive, massive massive drop and I'm just gonna do that let's see let's see I just want to be which one was the one I liked <laughs> What was it? It was called that one. What are we doing here? D? Chardonnay. That's in the Wave, uh, Bele, Cafe kind of thing. All right, let's go. Let's do the drop here. So it should be. Let's see what we can do here, drop wise. Why is there no kick drum? Because, oh, there's, because the, what? Did I delete the kick drum? What happened here? Interesting. Did I, I apparently de deleted everything. That's never good. Okay, let's... <laughs> Thank God for the control Z. Good. All right, let's see. The church is back. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. I hate them. I have nothing against Christians, just against the church with their bells. All right. I'm gonna be louder here.
These are not acid sounds in the least. That doesn't work here. Fucking church. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, finally, fucking bells. Whoever came up with the idea that church bells, like jingle bells, are a good idea, needs to. Well, this this switch over is not working right now. This reminds me very much of Resistance Festival in, in some way. Okay, let's take the kick out and see what happens without it. Let's ring out the the guitar here. The, I'm not 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 fa a fan of the ending, but the thing we can always try is to set it into a nice side chain. Let's see what happens. Very good. Side chain means another shot. Oh, I uh, I just sneakily sent it to the side chain channel, which is this one. So it's the same as if I put this guy back up. Hello. All right. One more. One more. I'm going to take a little one because I still have to do music. I'm I'm not sure how this works with the with the original. Cheers everybody who's doing uh, whiskey, uh, Chardonnay, Wave shots. What what? Oh, whiskey. I like whiskey. Ah. All right, let's close this. This works really well with the side chains. Let's see. We're coming out of this. How about that guy? Throw it in there like it belongs. trying to focus here what am I doing special effects there we go this is not in the right key everything's got to be in the right key not sure
sure which one is it two I should probably get that bass rolling there at this point. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit too high. Let's go down one. And maybe like that. Oops. I don't know who Bobby Helms is. Who's that? Never heard the name. How about... Interesting. This is a uh, weird break from the, the track before, but, you know, you'll see. Let's do that again. I don't even know Jingle Bell Rock, I think. Never heard of that either. This is a really weird change here. And it doesn't really fit the original vibe at all. So I'm gonna try something for a minute and then I'm probably gonna delete either the intro <laughs> or the, the, the drop right here. We'll see. Interesting. I don't think it works at all. Yeah. What happens if... What happens if I do this? Okay, one more try. Yesterday, I think, or two days ago, on Instagram, I posted one of these uh, Rick Rubin quotes. And then usually I post a quote and then I either say I agree and then I say why or I did disagree and then I say why. And um, it was about editing your work. And I said, yes, most people don't create enough shitty work and then they don't edit it and they don't create enough shitty work because they're too afraid that other people will judge them for it. And um, I will delete either the beginning or this because they don't go together, but I want to try. I want to just quickly, quickly want to try how this sounds in full, full mode here. Wait, 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 we need to have the, the guy. 
guy here. The little guy. Okay, hmm, let's double this man here. Is this going back? Yes, this is going back. Uh, if you can, how do you say, uh, define what more base means in your, in your thought, then I can answer that question. I don't know, that it means very different things for, for many people. This is not the sound I wanted. That is the sound I wanted. Well, most people, they, they really don't know what they mean. Like, most people think bass is the kick drum. It's like this. But this is not bass. I mean, it, this inst the, the instrument has bass, but it is not bass. Like, bass is generally, it could be this. Or it could be the sub. Which you probably won't hear if you're watching this on, a, on anything that, like, is a laptop or something like that. Or it could be this. So the question really is what, what you mean. Greetings to Tel Aviv. Yeah, fuck this. This is not good. Let's... Uh, I can't answer this question. You're basically asking me what I'm planning and I don't know. I don't, really don't know. Um... thing is this the intro is too slow that's too boring no it's not too boring it's like it doesn't f f it doesn't fit my anger that i feel because of the church and this part is too happy it's too i don't know it's 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 like the stuff noise effects does when everyone says it's heavy and it really isn't it's just like a happy like a funky happy melody i don't know um let's wait for the church to finish let's wait for the church i'm really irritated by this this is terrible i have to breathe and breathe i can't Yeah, that doesn't, let's delete that. Let's delete all this right here. Uh, but, let's not, 
Uh, or, or I could go into a into a chorus and make the song harder overall. Yes, let's try that. Let's try, let's try to forego the stupid dance structure that I never understood until a year ago or something. Uh, the the amount of conversations I had with the Lord because I didn't understand it. Oh well. Um, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is this? What is this? Oh, that's the drop. Yeah, we don't need any of this. Jesus fucking church. You probably can't hear it. Or maybe you can. This was the stupidest idea that I ever had. <laughs> to put a studio stream <laughs> on Christmas right in front of the church. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Got to do what you got to do. As someone wrote, make lemons out of lemons or something. Lemonade. Apple, what? <laughs> Trying to make apple juice gets hard. That's true. Let's see. Why is this stopping? Okay, I now purposely made the... All right, what you don't know, red is the chorus, always. Or whatever this pinkish red is supposed to be. I don't know. I hope they finally figured out that it's Christmas and they can stop ringing. This, uh... So... gave up again Let's see for how long probably every half hour till we till everybody understands that it was jesus today who was born or dead i don't remember born right oh that was that um yes good so let's see what robert what could robert play what would robert play he would probably just play the same stuff as before because that would make sense. Oh, my grid is... Right, let's go. Let's go! Jesus, this church noise is annoying. See how it can. Same thing. Ooh, that works. But then I gotta. 
happening here why what, what, what that was let's see let's see how that works Right, that works. What did I want? I want to have my little. Um, okay, do that on my own. This needs more because, let's see. This I want to make it a lot noisier in the in the chorus. There's some shit on this reverb. Go away. This really doesn't work too well. This, this virus space is really strange here. It has too much. If it has this type of bouncy feel, it doesn't work.
from the top. I'm going to try to find some food. Uh, Morgan, I'm constantly, if you look up at the top, I'm at version 3 already. And if I hit Control, Alt, and S, now I'm at version 4. I didn't drink a bottle. Bottle of what? <laughs> I drank a, I drank a liter of Monster. But uh, what? Are, how many shots did I have? Like four, something like that. I didn't count. Um, not sure. I think maybe this part isn't even needed. Although, yeah, it's cool. important sound obviously and that will be all right we need to we need to give give this some atmosphere because it doesn't have enough right now uh, where is the thing where's the where's all this stuff activate outputs how about the output b good then we send Did I not just open it? Oh, yes, I did. All right. Now I closed it again. <laughs> Damn. Hey, what's happening? All right, good. Something is slower than usual. What do I want? Why am I in the, in the default? I want to go into patch B. There we go. Default patch. It's not the guitar. I do want this. What do you call this? had a name I keep forgetting the name let's call it sonar it's some, something like that arctic signal that oh right I do need a MIDI track for this uh, sonar. We send this to the right sound. Where is it? There we go. Sonar. Hmm. 
Hmm, apparently not sonar. Okay, this is then the main out. So I probably should have turned this on somewhere. But where did this go? I'm confused because I don't see where the Oh, I didn't route it to the right output. Yes. This is why you have a this is why you have a template usually because uh then you don't have to worry about the fact that your sounds don't end up where they're supposed to be because you did that once and then they do end up where they're supposed to be. That's better. Marcus, it's very important to do the right thing. If it's not the right thing, like this, this thing. Being a man, very important. <laughs> This chorus is too long. It just needs to be one, I think. Let's see. Right now I'm at the phase where I just need to listen over and over and over again. Oh, this is what is what's happening here? This is probably recording everything. Hmm, interesting. Usually this doesn't happen, but there usually I can just record with everything playing in the back. But I think because of the streaming, it is recording some of the um, Check. All right. I accidentally killed the app by hitting the wrong button. So yeah, that sucks. Okay. Um, apparently I cannot record. No, no, Marcus, the sound disappeared for everyone. Um, but uh, because I, I accidentally closed the, the sound mixer that pulls down pulls together all the different sounds so um i don't know what i'm going to do i didn't know i can't record vocals properly but there probably is a way let me let me figure this out real quick because i like the melody so let me save it here for i don't remember whoever um whoever uh did that um I mean, so you, you can actually switch a mic. It depends on the mic. This one you can't. And um, the the thing really is not the, the noise here. It's not a lot of noise. I record like this all the time. It is the routing in this thing because this also gets down to the down to the um, to the OBS where it streams out. So let me quickly figure out if there is a little trick to do this. This is one of the things, this is not what I want. I want the audio connections, there we go. Inputs. What if I just add a mono connection one?
Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What seems to happen? Let's see. Let's try this. Nah, doesn't work. Doesn't work. The other side always comes uh, comes across in there. Doesn't matter. For now, it's cool. I'll, I'll just record it later another time, like when I'm not streaming. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm not going to read all this discussion because I will not have anything s fruitful to say to this. Um, the issue is with the with the setup. And um, since I'm not streaming often enough where I vo do vocals, I, I will just leave it like that for now. All right, let's see what we do with the rest of the song. All right, once is enough. Good. Then we go back here. Yes. And maybe this guy goes here, and maybe this guy goes here. All right, let's see. For this, I will probably write the lyrics before I sing it, because it's a verse, and, a, and verses generally don't matter that much. Still, I think it's too long. I'll leave it for now. Once I have vocals, I, I can figure it out. <sighs> Don't like the structure, this is too long. But we, we'll leave it for now, let's, let's see. Not good either. This is interesting. This is very interesting. It doesn't follow what I usually do. Okay, this needs to um, this needs to kill itself. <laughs> what I just did. Usually, what happens is after the chorus, I would go back to the to the little intro thing and then repeat this. But because the chorus guitars are kind of similar to these guitars, it is a little, uh, it's a little not working, let's say it like that. <laughs> of course, of course, someone is asking for Tanz vor drei vier. Yes, yes, I will do that when you build a time machine back to 2008. I actually recently made a track that was a little bit in that direction. Um, but then I changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's see. Okay. How about Robert Smith is not playing anything here? Maybe like. Yes, I have an idea. Yeah, this just needs to ring out. We have four bars and then we go back into a proper verse. That is a good idea. Well done, Sammy. Well done. That's how Sean Mares would say it. Well done, Sammy. 
And probably maybe it's a shitty idea. We'll know once we try. Um, I f I'm sorry for everyone who can't uh, envision vocals on this right now, but uh, we will we will see. Fistful of farts, very important. Where was that from? I, I remember that from somewhere. And not good enough. There's this, this doesn't. Mm. Robert, play some, play some shit, Robert, come on. Maybe just bring this stuff up. These kind of breaks are unusual, but well, well it's, it's goth music, so. <laughs> right. Mm, from the start. Right, I know what the problem is. The problem is that I'm going back to the tonic and I really need to go back to something else than the tonic. Let's go. Where am I ending here? There. Why is it so far over there? I need to make this a little bigger. Oh, low. Let's go. Okay, Robert, what do you think? Can you play something for this, Robert? needs to play a little lower that was the wrong one obviously now let's get this all lower better no that not better what am i doing here? oh that's better Let's, let's see how that goes. I think something's... Hmm, this maybe need to go here. And this may... What is missing? Sub bass is missing and the distortion bass is missing. Okay, 
this also needs to go lower. What is this? Oh, yes. Completely wrong. G2. This is probably not what I want, but let's just continue. This works though, this works really well. Okay. I might delete the second part of the chorus and use that. Verse, verse is good. shortening the verse here because you've heard it before I'm really not a fan of, of my virus space here. guy back here and we don't need that and we also what do we need we need this and that we need all of this from where from there Ooh, no later this was wrong was it was it wrong it was probably wrong <laughs> all right well, let's do it one by one. If you if you try to be lazy, try to be fast, everything goes to shit. As usual. As usual. That's good. That's that goes here. Uh I, I cannot follow the chat anymore. There's something about Chris Paul. Um he probably does. I don't know. He has he has the get next thing now. Um, where I don't know what he does there because I'm not on it, but um, yes, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I know at least one person who would be incredibly happy, <laughs> but I mean, I mean, for serious, um, no, nah, I'm not gonna even say that, <laughs> I'm gonna just uh be silent. No, I'm going to say that half of them, half of his 97% of his fans would not want to see the window. They would just want to see like massive pictures of his face. It's like, it's the opposite, the opposite of my window. It's like the, the production window in the bottom, really small. And then like a massive close up of Chris' face, because for some reason they really love to see his face. That's what I hear from boot angle wind, uh, fans. He's the most beautiful man in the world. Oh, something like that. <laughs> at least, at least the Blue Ranger fans I I know uh, sound like that. Maybe not the exact voice. Oh, Chris Paul, I love him so. He is my dark lord. Chris is a good friend of mine, so I'm not dissing him. He's a cool guy. Um. But, uh, like, uh, the last, th I, I don't remember any person who's into Blue Angle ever saying, I really like the music. They're all like, he's so beautiful. <laughs> so that's what his fans, uh, what his fans are um, all about. Apparently, they want him for his body, not for his soul. <laughs> I might be totally wrong. Let us uh, start from the beginning and find all the mistakes. Come on. Electronic body beams, he does look a little like John Travolta. Did 
Did I delete the base there? Or what what happened? What happened there? No. What the hell? Something's weird. Something's fucked up with the bass here. Yes, he goes back to... Okay, good. This is a mistake here. Let's copy that. Oh, I remember. I wanted the prototypical, the cure sound, which of course... needs to be in there if you don't know what i'm talking about you are not a the cure fan <laughs> that one wind chimes there is no the cure without wind chimes they're all over the all over the stuff and they're cool more chimes. Why do these, oh, because it's the same thing. Why is the, why are all of these double? That's a good one. these chimes are going into the special effects and is that, is that getting side-chained? That should not be. I mean, it could be. No, it's not. So what's happening there? Where is that going? Why is there... Maybe... Oh, maybe he did that on purpose. Yes, he did. So why... Why do I not have other chimes? I do have other chimes. Where are they? Find the chimes. There we go. That's a very loud. Yeah, let's take that one. And then bring that guy into the transition. Make this guy longer. Too long. Okay, this doesn't need to be here. Oh, maybe him at the back end. Right now they're too loud, but that's not the point. Mixing doesn't need to really happen now. It just needs to be f there. This is 
missing something right now. I'm, I'm kind of trying to make it, how do you say, grimier. It's too nice overall. It's too nice overall. I don't have more, any more pudding. space I really don't let's see usually it's here ah oh, that's where it's better all right this is crazy I just changed this like a few like what was it 3k down 2k down it sounds much better going let's keep that bass going nope that's the wrong one that's the wrong one that's the correct one not happy with this why is this something is really off okay I decided the virus base needs to go this guy go fuck yourself Duh, what is it remove selected tracks there we go let's see let's see how it sounds without it's probably missing some Yeah, it's missing the drive that it had with a tucka 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 motor type thing underneath, but the fucking church is starting again. Jesus, is it? Yes, motherfuckers. I'm starting to swear and I'm not even drunk. Why is there two of those? Yeah, those don't need to be there. That's wrong. This needs to go there. And this one needs to go here. That's better. Oh, this church is making me very unhappy. So let's combat my unhappiness with another shot. Christmas shot. Cheers, everybody. So maybe, maybe we can think of ruining this. Yeah, let, let's ruin this a little with some industrial drums. Under Ooh, industrial drums underneath. <laughs> How about that? Let's go. 
I do have a hardcore tech. Let's try this for a second. This is this is another thing that I always do. Um, if I have a stupid idea, I try it. And um, we'll see. I, I have a hard style sound bank somewhere. I, I think I got it from Crazy Mark. Uh, Mark Akaripana. Here, there we go. Hot style by Farto. Drum and melody loops. There we go. Drum loops. This is not a drum loop. What the fuck? Kicks, MIDI. Do we have drums in here? Presets. I don't want any of that. Stop playing. Okay, forget about that. I have a selection of hard style kicks. I like that. D kicks? No kicks in D, obviously. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. How about that guy? I love it. Good, let's make a sampler track. Um, this is probably gonna fuck up, fuck up, uh, everything but i'm gonna try it and see what what happens let's okay the the, the kick of this pitch uh, the pitch of this kick is e which is obviously too high because the track is in d so we just push it down one semitone and it should fit and then we just uh let's see we add it <laughs> where should it go it should obviously go into the drum bus I, I'll have to, I'll have to wait till the church people are finished because I can't hear the pitch of the kick. It's not correct. The guy who made the dr the the sample gave it the wrong pitch. Oh no, I, I'm I'm wrong. E to D is obviously two. Mm, doesn't work. That's weird. Uh, Sorry guys, I can't hear hear the, the, the pitch of the song properly because the church is so pitchy all over the. Let's find the bass here. That's probably the easiest. Can't hear the bass either. It's getting uh, it's getting l uh, lower again. like this what i just did is i just faded it underneath it immediately gave it more character maybe you don't even hear it anymore i'm that's why i'm going to take it off just listen to the bottom listen to this listen to the song now i now i take it out has this driving grimy thing underneath and I like that it's a little like boots stomping like um, military marching boots if I go lower it's it's completely out of key
it's this is not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'll keep it for now. Uh, the, th this kind of stuff is is the th uh, the things that you actually want. Um, generally, people who are not you or like making music um, in I don't know in the same kind of style or something. What they want you to do as an artist is to sound exactly like the other guys that they like. So they want you to um, sound like Suicide Commando because they really like Suicide Commando or like Gesafferstein or something. But obviously, whoever you are, that's the last thing that you want unless you're a total beginner and can't get shit done. So that's when you want to sound like someone else so you have a comparison. In my case, this song sounds so much like any Wave band uh, at this point that I really need to spice it up with something um, where the average listener will be like, oh no, the song was so nice. Oh. Uh, but it gets totally lost in the wash of, of uh, uh, standard Wave music that can be like just played in a six hour stream and nobody will ever recognize a single song. So the, the, the idea now is that Robert Smith has played all the guitars for the day. Um, it's, it's now the, the idea to make this a little more interesting than it is at this point. Because right now it's basically elevator music. So we'll see what, uh, what happens there. So... Uh, girlfriends, I don't know. They have no opinion that matters at all. If they like it, you never know that they like it because they were there or it's you. And if they don't like it, it doesn't matter because they have no idea about artistic vision. The one thing that, uh, in general, it doesn't matter is the opinion of the girlfriend or the friends who have no musical, uh, like a lot of musical expertise because they will just say stuff. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's go and make this a little more heavy. Oh, how about we use a standard techno ride loop? That one, my favorite standard techno ride loop. Well, if the girlfriend has a musical background and plays saxophone, that must mean she knows everything about your dark electro or whatever music you want to make or guitar music. Um, I don't want to argue this point for too long, but even the most uh, skilled producers very often have no valid opinion on what you're doing because you haven't taught them, uh, talked to them and said... Um, Okay, Bob Rock, or okay, um, Mutt Lang, or okay, I don't know who, who's a good techno producer. Okay, Andre Winter. My idea for this is I wanted to be Robert Smith uh, with something else and make it sad. And when you really usually do uh, whatever, then maybe these great producers would say, but this doesn't sound like Faderhead. So at that point, their their opinion becomes invalid. And um it's, it's really important to understand that almost nobody has a valid opinion on your music unless you ask them for it and have been explaining to them and talking to them what the point of it is. Because otherwise it's like, mm. it's like asking like a, someone what, what car you should buy. And you know some, some guys are mechanics and they will tell you this. Some guys are like car tuners, they will tell you this. Some guys are just like people who like cars and they will tell you something else. And um, I don't know, it doesn't mean they have a valid opinion on your music. And um, that's the, all right.
right, guys. This techno loop cannot exist without a sidechain. Now, that's the wrong one. That is the wrong one. So here we go. Last one's been a while. You know how to do it. I'm drinking from my fancy, my, my new gift, fancy new fader head engraved things. Hey guys, just just to make to understand the difference, just the two things that I uh, added. I'm gonna keep them playing. They're a little loud right now. I turn them off now. Back on. It, it creates a lot more drive if they're in. It's, it's better on, Yannick, you're completely right. It's much better on. It is less elevator music. It's not bad at all. Now I'm getting into it a little more. happening here <laughs> that's a bug if there ever was one I cannot bring down the the EQ interesting this never happened before in my life ever in like what 25 years of using Cubase okay let's see let's see what happens yeah that works <laughs> Ha ha ha, interesting. I didn't know even that was a, let's see, let's see here. Because I, I I connected the channels, I think he linked the EQs. Yeah, all right. Okay, that the, the reason was I connected the channels and then all the EQs are, are getting used and it was impossible because there was something else there. All right. <laughs>
Okay. It's all right for now. Let's uh, try and go out of here into a into a breakdown because where are we We're like two and a half minutes yes 230 good uh. what do i want i want to drop it Hey Robert, what you gonna play there? Give me something, Robert. Show me what you got, Robert. That's the wrong chord, but let's see. No, that works actually. That works. That works. Robert is Robert Smith, the guy who's playing the guitar here of the Cure. Robert Smith of the Cure, obviously. If you look here, where my where my little mouse pointer, it's Robert Smith. <laughs> and uh, sometimes you got to tell him to play, because otherwise uh, he won't play. Because uh, you know. the D's are taken. All right, let's... Okay, let me think about this. What do I want? I come out of here of this little chorus with my little melody. easy okay let's just bring down oh maybe 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 oh maybe yes maybe let's make it a little heavier here turn the get song heavier knob where is this one that guy <laughs> that man is a good man full of Yeah, we don't need the side chain anymore because that would just be just childish right now. What if we repeat this? Robert, can you play it again? Play it again, Robert. What is the chorus thing? What is the melody, like the bass line in the chorus? Uh, if we do this, then it's the same. Same thing again. I will probably rewrite the whole song from this break because this break sounds better than the rest. Robert is playing really well right here. one there what's happening 
I think this guy needs to go up. It's too low. Also, I think if there's reverb, it needs to go away and needs to be replaced by a better reverb. Maybe like this one. Let's see. Mm, too much. Oh. Yes, better. this real quick okay just for a uh, idea later should be some there should be some uh, some kick here Let's see What is no? This is the vocal. Yes, forget about the vocal. Let's add to that. What is this? This is Robert. No, this is the right thing. Let's add some. Let's add some proper kicks up here. Where's the radio kick? There we go. the where did we have the did I delete it I deleted it interesting is correct put it into the special effects Yannick I'm 45 nice kicks what else is there what software? Cubase, yes. What else is there? Got to get some eats. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. But still some time to go. I should have eaten. Well, I did eat at around 12 o'clock. So, and this thing, maybe. Maybe I should have bought more snacks for Christmas. <laughs> but uh, the, tank, the gas station is open, so you can always get more. <laughs> Hey, 
is pretty nice. There's something, there should be something at the end. Come on. Yes, there we go. All right, that's better. happening here why is this so wrong is this not in key in speed yes it is okay this one is weird it might be nice for house or something but not for this let's keep it straight Goth is straight, there's never any groove, so keep it straight. <laughs> Tell me, I have no idea. Stuff that I, things I always eat. All right. This should probably have another one of these, but shorter and some uplifters fucking church is back jesus can you hear it again all right so how long did that take them 30 minutes or something i'm i keep trying to remember what how long it took but then it no, this is completely wrong. This is not what I wanted. I wanted these guys. Come on. Good. Then we also maybe cut this, cut this, and this. I am pretty afraid that this will go on for the rest of the evening until like, I don't know, eight o'clock. But uh, let's soldier on and just to do stuff <laughs> where I don't need to listen to the music. That works, good. So now the, the question is, do I, let me, let me actually copy the, the thing here, the whole chorus and see what happens. Oh. Division Bell, I know that was a, what album was that by which band? Uh, I can't remember anything. I know that there's an album like that, I think. Maybe. Maybe I don't know it. Uh... Right, Pink Floyd. Does that... These, these things should fit, but they are in the wrong time, so they need to be faster. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the, the... This was quick. This only took two and a half minutes. I don't understand this. Is anyone like really Christian and can tell me what this means? This is the end is nigh or something like that? We ring less. OK, 
Okay, now I think it's time for Robert to do some guitar work here. I am pretty sure he can do that for me. Come on, Robert. Play a little. Again, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm basically thinking of what I want to be played and then I just draw it in. Um, I don't know. I, I, I usually have in my head what I want to the notes to be and then it's just a, a matter of, you know, figuring it out. No, this needs to... There we go. Okay, this is good. Copy. Good. Uh, I don't know what you're hearing. Maybe your stuff is in mono or something, but <laughs> all the notes are fine. The guitar itself has a strong chorus, which is why I'm thinking maybe you were listening in mono, um, because then it would, uh, it would be um, like if you listen to it, they're all fine. Again, you you have problems on your end. I don't know. Maybe it's your perception. This sounds completely fine to me. Then I don't know what you're talking about. correct these are correct they're all correct no, no problems here
that's pretty good and maybe we add This cannot be played by one guitar, but who cares? We'll just, uh, get that. All right, let's see how this sounds coming from this place. This was really wrong. Something was really wrong. This guy. Why is this so weird? It should be in tune, uh, like in time. It's just... There's some, hmm, some shit here. Okay. Let's just kill it. How about we do a thing here? Well, good. Oh, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's see. That guy and that guy. Where are we? There we go. Which one is the bypass? This one is the bypass. Let's start about... This will be very cool if, if there were actual vocals at this point. Then we can figure out what we want to do. What's happening here? There we go. Let's see. Yannick, I'm at home, which is where I mostly do my music. Sometimes I go someplace else, but I can do almost anything here except for drum recording, which nobody ever needs to do anymore. it this needs a little extra on top to make it oh how about one of the Robert Smith machines here okay this needs to go out of stereo out of special effects and into the no filter mix <laughs> okay that's a little loud maybe Probably, I know it worked before, but before I wasn't really paying attention to these things. filter here a little too much filter the church 
church is back. The church is back. about how about we do the right thing be a man do the absolutely right thing which is of of course is driver heads played by the driver human tyler goosey robert smith on guitar hi-hat tyler driver human side chain on this guy Side chain means uh, cheers, guys. That's a drink to the Christians. Uh, says that famous man phrase. What famous? What famous man phrase? I don't know. Be a man. Oh, be a man. Do the right thing. No, I say that even when I'm sleeping. Cheers, everybody. Side chain. Uh, Laura, that would be incredibly futile because uh, people have sued the church um, and lost uh, because, you know, what they say, and I've been living here for like, I don't know, 12 years or something. What uh, what they say is you, you knew the church was there before you moved there, which is true. And uh, I, I think one day a year like this doesn't matter. Yeah, Easter I won't I won't do a stream. <laughs> mm. Usually they ring like four times a week, maybe. Iron Angel Forge. I don't know. The, the problem is Exit Ghost, I've done Exit Ghost. So if you want me to do like another uh, super simple piano play, a piano riff thing with like some orchestra, uh, I mean, I could do it. It's just the, the, the question is what the point actually is. Some lady once called me Saint Faderhead, something like that. Did, did she not? I don't know. On the Discord? Something like that. Not sure if she was serious about it. She seemed pretty serious. Okay, what is the... What is the Daniela? You had a drink now on the on the because you said the first cheers of the day. Let's see. Three thirty-two. I think. It's... Yes, it's time to take it home. Take it home. Take it to the bridge. <laughs> take it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Mm, the whole horn? Yes, let's do that. No, let's just do... What's happening here? This is not correct. This is not the right thing. That's better.
<laughs> Xanti, there were commandments, really? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't remember any commandments. They were not my commandments. Jesus, I probably didn't see that. Okay, these... these uh, yes, what I want to do is now... Uh, Iron Age of Forge. It, the Discord link is really hard to remember. It's discord.faderhead.com. Um, so if you type that, you'll uh, end up there. And I will, if you if you show up with that nick, it'll take probably about five hours, and I will change that nick on a daily basis simply because I uh, change all the nicks always. Uh, all right, let's the 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 evil church bells are gone. But we need to do this properly here. Fuck the church. Right. Okay. The evil church bells are gone. This is so good without church bells, man. I can hear things. I, I think I will add a bell at the very end. Yeah, Xanti, it's six o'clock, which is probably like the overall German time for the main Christmas thing, because then people get home by, I don't know, seven fifteen, seven thirty, and then they can can have their private thing, and uh, so I'm kind of hoping that this is almost the last last one. Um, uh, Laura, I was actually thinking on putting the church bell right here, <laughs> like at the very end, uh, which is where a little Robert is playing his heart out here. Oh, that's not little Robert, but that's okay. Where's the where's the brake saw? That one. I should ask Eric. Uh, Eric is friends with, uh, what's his name? Daryl, I think, who used to be one of uh, the, I think the tour manager for the, the Cure and they worked together on, on like in a publishing house or something. I should ask, finish this song and then ask him to ask Robert to sing on it just for fun. Nothing will come of it, but you know, it never, never, never hurts to try. Never hurts to try. Let's use this one. Okay, let's see how it's done. Okay, this needs a thing here, like this one. I got an idea, and the idea revolves around the almighty filter, of course, because everything is better when we filter it out. Let's get out of here. Why is this like this? Because that's that filter, right? That's the wrong two filters. Okay, good. This is better. <laughs> Serge, Serge, it's not a guitar plugin. It's uh, Robert Smith of The Cure, who lives in my computer. Um, like, uh, he was nice enough to <laughs> move in and uh, agree to play everything. <sighs> if you look, if you look at the, see here, there, it says Robert Smith. All these tracks are played by Robert in live fashion. Wow, there's 60 people watching. 
I didn't expect that for Christmas. That's good. Welcome everybody who's not in the chat. I'm just reading the chat and didn't even watch the... the filter to come in a little earlier. TC, I never ever watch the, the, the numbers usually because numbers mean nothing. It's like it's nice when there's more than one person or more than no, nobody. But uh, I, was, I was very surprised that actually people had time today. This is a very nice ending. I like that. Of course, Robert needs to finish that with, uh, with that one. Um, Sash, we were joking, obviously. Um, this is this uh, plugin is not a guitar plugin. It's uh, Omnisphere. Omnisphere has a sound which is called JC120, which is a Roland uh, stereo chorus. I, I think it's a MIDI MIDI thing. Very simple. Did, did I not say amplifier? Uh, Roland stereo chorus? I, what did I say? I, it's an amplifier. It's a, like a two, what do you call it? Two speakers, two by 12 or something. Um, don't remember exactly what the setup is. I never had one, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing three things at the same time. It's MIDI. Well, it is MIDI. Well, <laughs> it is uh, the MIDI sending to the, to the sample of the famous amplifier. filter output bus Actually, yeah, I'll do that later. What I'm going to do later is I'm going to tune down these, the last two things, so that it goes like, like a tape machine pitching down. But uh, I don't have a tape stop plug-in that goes on the master bus. I don't know why I don't have it. Um, I don't even know which one it is, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. <laughs> All right, this is pretty much the correct vo volume here. Let's listen to this from the start and uh, see if it's any good.
Oh, this is this is where the vocals would be. Blue is vocals and red is also vocals. I'm not sure if we need this. And that means it definitely needs some additional stuff. How about just any any reverse thing that sounds a little techno-y. Let's make something sound techno-y. go deep into the verb. Um, what do I want here? I want to bit crush it. There's a, a lack of stuff now. That's interesting. What, what? Why is this losing so much energy here? Probably because it's lifting up the bass. Is the bass lifting up? No. Yeah, kind of. NS Ogre, um, it is pretty clean. Um, that doesn't matter though. Uh, if you listen to stuff like, what was the name of the last song on Asteria that I looked for at the beginning? Something. I have a bunch of songs like this. So, 
maybe not exactly like that, but the point is to not do the same shit as 2008 and 2010 and 2006. And not even the same shit as 2015. So we'll see. Usually it starts sounding like Faderhead as soon as I sing, because the vocal is the only unifying thing in general. Break is my favorite part, actually. Break and ending. All these levels are not correct, like stuff gets louder when drums miss, but it's, it's not a mix, so it sounds fine. Oh, that guy's a little late here. Come on, man. A little late. This is not terrible. This is not terrible at all. Let's go with this guy and bring him here towards the end. Where does it end? Here. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. So now, now we gotta put some hardcore techno beats in there to make it make it a little more grimy it still still could could uh could have something let me think this is <laughs> this is where the millions of uh sample libraries come in to see if you can have something unusual in there How about uh, let's take the let's take the good old Berlin techno shit, or maybe the distorted drums, industrial techno five. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Drone loops always good. D sharp. Yes, this stream will be on YouTube. It'll like as soon as this is finished, you can rewatch it. Uh, maybe five minutes later. I don't know how long it takes YouTube to. Uh, rework it, but yes, you can. That's the point why I put it here. Uh, 
No, that's not what I want. Uh, how about a beat loop? <laughs> yeah, that's not the right thing. But let's see what we have here. Ooh, this is good. Let's put that in there. Let's just throw that in there for a second. Throw that in there for a second here. Her. Throw that in there. Dog. We have to pitch it, probably. This is obviously way too high energy, way too bass heavy. But the point is to have like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that in the background. You, you guys, like the guys who haven't been here probably haven't heard that this. Wait, wait. This is running throughout the whole song. And if you take it out, it, it takes away a lot of the power. Nice. Man, I dig it. Let's put that on the drums here. It's not the correct speed. This is obviously way too much. Nice, I like it. correct let's see what this does better <laughs> yes i say tanz zu drei vier two because uh sounds exactly like that <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of okay again the stuff that I added that was total noise at first this stuff if I make it loud it's like massive industrial dance so with with the if i take it off the song is missing that kind of drive if i bring it back in it's underneath and it adds a lot <laughs> i should make one just out of that loop
good fight. Unnecessary here. need is more stuff this doesn't actually need more stuff but i just had an idea about a about a very synth wavy thing here let's try nope that's not the one <laughs> I don't use this one too often. That one. I might take out the stuff that I'm doing later when the vocals are there because maybe they clash. slow in the attack come on this is basically what the guitar later is doing i think Too much, too much, too much, too much. But it was worth a try. It's not necessary. Let me try and just add this high note here. Nope, unnecessary. Delete it. Delete it. Let's see. I want to put something on there, but I'm not sure. Maybe it needs to be really noisy again. Let's see. What you got here? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, some white. I think so too. It doesn't really. Ooh. Okay, let's try that one. Let's try that one. Because why not? Put down. Because why not? I'm adding completely wrong, stylistically completely wrong loops. This obviously doesn't fit unless we fuck with it and see what it does. But let's let's see what it does first. It's really cool actually. It has this dum ta dum dum tum on there. <laughs> Xanti, maybe I do that another day. If if something fails or something. beat is very cool so let's figure out how to get the best out of that beat underneath what's that one whoops what's d i don't know just saw something new in cubase that i just perfect this works really well it's even already in key Let me actually introduce it up in here, see what happens. Where was that? Oops. I just introduce it every second time, first time. Nice, really like it. running here Let's see if it works nope too much too much doesn't work this needs to right let's do it again from the break um, usually I wouldn't be doing it at this point Usually I would have sang all the lyrics way earlier, but uh, due to the streaming setup, I can't do that right now. So uh, I'm doing the details, which I usually wouldn't be doing at this point because lyrics at this point are much more interesting and vocals than fine details, but we'll see. <laughs> Santi, I don't really think it sounds very synth wavy or any of that at all it sounds much more i don't know not synth wavy because there's really not any synth wave sounds in there i think like the one i didn't put in the chorus that was one Let's do a delay throw on there. Let's see if that works, or like a reverb throw, like a massive reverb throw. Is that the good one? I have new verbs in there. I never know what they sound like. Not big enough. Okay. What about a delay on this guy? Maybe not. Let's let's do the right thing. 
be a man. We haven't had a side chain in a while, so let's uh, let's do just a gratuitous drink in my new awesomely engraved Faderhead shot glasses. This one has the cyberpunk Faderhead logo, but uh, we'll see. Cheers, everyone. All right, 25 minutes. Then I have to sign off because then uh, Dorian will be talking about stuff. I can never remember. It was something about how to figure out if someone's not going to be a goth for long or something. Uh, let's see. What did I want here? That didn't work. Yeah, fuck this. This is not necessary. This is bullshit what I'm doing here. This is uh, the point that I'm at now is the point where I'm making very little progress. Discard. Which is why I said earlier, uh, discard, yes, that I would generally uh, move over to vocals at this point. But let's see. I, I want to see how I can get these these guys to stick out more. Because I introduced them here with like um, four bars of beat and then they drop out. Four bars of beat, then they drop out, then there's the little transition part and then it goes again with the beat. So I have to figure out how to do that properly. Let's see. James, good to see you. I didn't even know that. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you have a good Christmas, James. Nice to read you. Please send it to Shona. Shona, hello, if you watch this. I think, I think I did okay for today. Let, let me see if I missed anything here. Uh, this guy is there. Does, does this need? Does it need to be? Here? That's correct. Oh, I missed this one. Good. This is just little busy work here. Trying to tide you over till 7 p.m. <laughs> Let's see if that works. And uh, just for for all the guys who are like, this doesn't sound anything like Hans. Oh, let's do that. Let's let's make just one for the guys who uh, always want Hans so here. It's uh, the speed is exactly correct. The speed is Hans so speed. And uh, let's let's be let's do it. Let's do it. Let's come on. We can do. It. Would be fun if if it actually actually uh, <laughs> made it better. Why is this so, so much distortion? All right, too high. That's better. Okay, uh, what would be the 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 typical baseline for this? Would be uh, um, da -da -da -da. let's just.
I'm totally fucking around now, but, you know. Obviously, this needs some center. This is so stupid. It actually almost works. And I say... Yeah, let's delete that. That... Oh, the church bells are back. Right, so that you guys don't have to hear them, I will play the song front to back which then you will not have to listen to because I will have the song on loud and uh, I'll be right back after these uh, messages and a word from your local station Love the chimes.
I think the break and the endings are my favorite parts. everybody I think that was all right for, for the first uh, part of this I hope you enjoyed this um, 15 minutes and Dorian of herbs and altars is uh, um, gonna talk about the goth <laughs> in uh, all its uh, all its uh, glory and whatever magnitude um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope you are um, dropping by and uh, checking out the Dorian stuff and uh, tonight is at eight o'clock it's uh, Emmanuel with uh, Paratronic stream and uh, like you know the, the, the deal Xmas at ghost minus city dot net has the whole program for the next uh, three days four days with uh, with the with this one and I hope uh, I see you around I will turn on the what, what do you call that shit, shit? Uh, the zoom hangout at around eight o'clock so uh, Feel free to come by, and drop by, and uh, hang out. All right, everybody. Um, I'll see you around uh, next time, maybe. Maybe next time. So how do I change this?